Musicians need to promote themselves. They go on tour, they make albums, they do a little bit of social media, but more and more people are looking to watch videos of us perform. Now, this is not the easiest if it's only you or there's just a band and there's nobody else. So this is a six point plan on how to make a music video by yourself. I'm stating the obvious here, but the first thing you're going to need is a camera. But nowadays that camera can be a phone or an iPad, anything that shoots video. Now essential to working with a camera is a tripod. Now you can get a really big tripod or you can get a little tripod that just clamps around things. So you can have the camera in funny angles or you can get a tripod for your phone as well. None of them are very expensive. If you go on Amazon you can see lots of cheap versions. Once you've got the video sorted, you really need to think about your sound. Now, someone who works in the TV business said you can get away with some poor visuals if your sound is good, and that's really important. So I would encourage you to have an instrument stand, a microphone, which goes on the microphone stand, and then you plug that into uh, either your computer or your an audio recorder. This is a Zoom, which I use, which is fabulous. Of course, you can also use your phone, but often these mics are not great. And if you have a bit of budget, I would maybe encourage you to check out this little thing here. It's a Zoom IQ6 and it fits in the bottom. This is an iPhone one. It fits in the bottom of your iPhone like that. And it sounds fantastic. The important thing is to think about your sound, make sure it sounds good and you might have to edit it on your computer after you've recorded it, but that's okay. Also, make sure that the levels are loud enough, not distorting, but they're loud enough. There's nothing worse than pressing the, because we listen to everything on mobiles nowadays, pressing the volume up and it's still too quiet. So make sure that the volumes are right. Next, it's important to think about your light. There's nothing worse than watching a video that's too dark. It's not very good for you. It doesn't really tell any promoters who might be wanting to book you. Well, they might tell you what you look like in a dark room, but that's about it. So think about that. Now, if you don't have any money for lights, you could always sit by a window. There is nothing more beautiful than natural light. Of course, if you can manage to get out into the natural light, get outside and find a nice sheltered spot. The light is always fabulous and makes a big difference. When you're all set up, Get ready, make sure you're well practiced and start to play or sing. Don't accept the first take, make sure it's really good. Play it a few times, then choose the best take. Next up is a, maybe a slightly trickier part. It's the part where you take the video and the sound off your camera, your phone, whatever, and you put it onto your computer because you need to edit it. There's lots of free options out there for editing. There's iMovie on a Mac or Windows Movie Maker on a PC, but there's other free things as well. The thing is, is get it onto your computer. Don't leave it on your hard drive. Get it edited and do a bit of learning and enjoy it. Don't try and be too complicated. Make sure you cut out any waffle. You should see how much talking I've cut out of this video that you're watching. Just make sure it's concise and gives the message that you want to. All the skills that I've used to make these videos, I've learned from either talking to people or on YouTube. YouTube is an amazing resource for getting yourself better at things. So once you've made your first video, make another one and then make another one after that and keep pushing yourself to get better at it. Finally, Share your video everywhere. Let people see it. Let promoters see it. Let YouTube and the rest of the world see it. Put it on your Facebook, your Twitter. Just let people know. There is no point on it sitting in your hard disk where nobody can see it. This is how people are going to get to know you, the musician. Now, if you like this video, why don't you consider supporting my Patreon account? It's www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Tumier. Anything you can give helps. It's all a great support to me. Now, I'm going to play you my little music video now. It's an Irish hornpipe. Well, I think it is. I don't really know what it is. Maybe you could tell me in the comments. But it's called the Poppy Leaf. And it's a great tune. And uh, I think I maybe learned it from Alistair Anderson, the fabulous concertina player. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks again for watching. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. If you've got any other if you've got any other ideas for videos, I'm always looking for ideas. So please just tell me, and I'll see you the next time.